Hello, this is Mr. Spilker, Assistant Principal at Papillion La Vista South High School. We wanted to put out some parking reminders before we begin the 2019-2020 school year. Let's go ahead and start off by taking a look at this map. This map shows some of the areas that are affected by construction at the school. This first area here in the red in the front parking lot is the area where we have our construction uh, staging area. So we have materials in this area. This is where the portables are that some of the leads in the construction uh, work out of. So this area is closed for the school year. This area here in red, which is a very popular road between the football field and between the school, is still open, but it is a no parking area. We cannot have anyone parking in this road during the school year. This road needs to be left open for two reasons. Number one, it's a main entrance to our front classroom addition for construction. They're bringing a lot of trucks in there, concrete trucks, uh, steel. Um, the cranes will be there to lift the steel. So it's a very, very, very um, commonly used entrance for our construction workers. So that has to remain open. Also, our buses this year, we're not going to have the bus drop off in the back, and we'll talk about why we can't do that later. But our bus, um, our bus pickup after school is going to be on the south side, right here by the weight room and by the training room doors. So we need this area open so we can get buses out. The buses will enter after school down by the baseball fields. They'll then come through the new um, football parking lot on the east side there, and then they will be headed to the west to pick up students and then exit the school grounds. So keep in mind, no parking between the football stadium and the school. The blue part over here is our, our loop road. We have a uh, road there that you could take all the way around the school. If you headed to the east here, you could then head to the north and you'd go all the way around the school uh, under normal circumstances. This year, however, is not normal circumstances with our construction. So this blue part right here is closed for the year. You will not be able to loop around the school. So there will be no parking and there is no way to get through there. So if you are headed to the north down this road, you will be forced to turn around and exit to the south and then eventually head to the west. Uh, if we talk a little bit about um, drop off in the morning, our, our few key reminders are just pull forward as far as you can. Uh, have your student ready to get out. Uh, be cautious of students walking across that have, have uh, driven to school. Make sure when they come across, you're mindful that um, they're going to be passing here. So keep an eye out for students. Pull as uh, far forward as you can. And then uh, make sure you tell your student, have a good day. Our buses will also drop off here in the morning. Most of our buses are here by 730. So it's really a low traffic time when those buses uh, drop off in the morning, but please make sure you're careful for students crossing to enter school. After school, uh, it's pretty crazy from 320 to 335, and uh, it's not necessarily the traffic pattern. It's just the fact that we are releasing 1,800 students. Um, we have right around 150 staff members, and everybody has concluded the school day. So we ask you after school to be very patient, and just keep in mind we have a number of areas where you can pick your student up. A great place to pick up your student is outside the football stadium. You can find a parking spot over here. Your student can be dismissed from school. Come on over to this parking lot. And oftentimes, this is a great spot if you want to avoid some of the heavy uh, traffic that occurs after school. Another area that you could um, pick up after school this year is our new east lot over by the football stadium by the tennis courts. That's another lot that you could have your student walk to after school. You could meet them there, and then you could exit to the um, to the south, or you could even exit to the west. Just keep in mind that as you head to the west, we have our, our bus traffic there, and you cannot pass a uh, stopped bus. That's a, a common law. Uh, when we talk about over here in front of the school, the big thing we're, we're trying to emphasize this year is please do not double park down these runways. Uh, last year, it was very common that we would have um, parents... Um, and guardians double parked on both sides of this, and it made these um, aisles uh, impassable. So we just ask that you uh, pull in a parking spot, pull in an empty stall, wait for your student to come out, and then they'll come to you, and then you guys can exit for the day. Do not block um, the runways there uh, that we need to get traffic up and down. 
uh, big thing with with our parking lots, we just ask you to be patient. Um, if you can if you can hold off picking up your student after school till 3:35, you'll probably find that there's a lot less traffic. Uh, in the mornings, you can drop your student off at 7:30. You'll probably find if you drop your student off at 7:30. Um, to 740, you'll probably find that there's a lot less traffic. So in our parking lot, be patient, um, be positive, always keep safety in mind, and uh, always try to be respectful um, of others and, and just know that we want everybody to be safe and, and get to school. If you have any questions or concerns as the year goes along, please reach out to us. Um, we're here to help you. We do plan to increase uh, presence in our parking lot with our security team and with our administrative team. We know that uh, it's going to be a little bit hectic and there's going to be some changes this year because of the construction and we want to get out there and assist and, and do our best and uh, keep the idea in mind that we want all of these students to arrive safely and to be able to depart safely um, from school. So if you have any parking questions, let us know. Uh, we're excited for a great school year. Um, this, this place is really going to be awesome when all the construction is done. So I just guarantee you um, that your patience uh, will pay off in the end. Have a great day. Go Titans.